हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर थॉट्स एंड एजुकेशन प्रोग्राम बाय कॉलेज दुनिया आई हैव विथ मी प्रोफेसर कुणाल मोहनानी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ फाइनेंस डिपार्टमेंट फ्रॉम चिमन भाई पटेल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ बिजनेस एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन सर आई वेलकम यू टू आवर प्रोग्राम गुड मॉर्निंग सर फॉर दिस आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क यू सम क्वेश्चन यस प्लीज सर व्हाट आर द स्ट्रेंथ्स एंड यूएसपी ऑफ चिमन भाई पटेल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ बिजनेस एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन CPI has been in the education sector from two decades and more now. CPI family is not only about one department or one course. The USP are uh, shattered around multilateral things, starting from the very top thing, the vision of the trustee. The vision and the vision and mission of the trustee is to provide quality education at affordable rates to the public at large. second obviously the usp of any educational institution should be its faculties our faculties are experienced and uh, have worked for uh, decades all together for the development of students the third is our meritorious students who have always responded in a similar pattern and given the top ranks in the university from all these years together the geographical location of the institute as well plays a very important role as it is located in the center of the city of ahmedabad where it is highly accessible and the uh, stay which is available for non localites that is the students from out of ahmedabad is available at very affordable and uh, uh, you know accessible rates to the students so uh, uh, summing it up the entire ambience of the institute goes very well plus it is located in the heart of the city yet the environment if you see of the campus it has its own sports activities we have a basketball ground we have volleyball court we have other other activities going on around in the campus so the usp of uh, the institute cpi is the holistic development of students that is what the new education policy and ugc aims at Sir, moving to our next question. Being the faculty of finance department, what are your roles and responsibilities towards the student? The role and responsibility of any faculty of any stream whatsoever that person should uh, would be the base. Obviously, is the subject. The subject that I am dealing with is finance. So, uh, the strong foundation of the subject in itself is the responsibility. I cater to that part. Uh, wherein i explain the concepts to students in a very lucid language and simple terms to make finance a little diluted in the sense of understandability and the conveyance of the messages to the students second responsibility of any faculty should be the practical uh, application of the subject in the life of the students so the concepts that i have taught they should be applicable to the students in their practical life so here we uh, focus on a hands on approach like i am dealing with the finance uh, department so we have uh, uh, kept sessions for the students where uh, sessions from um, sebi nism are uh, made available to the students and no costing is charged to them uh, uh, under the awareness programs of the government of india another is providing them symposiums uh then um, guest lectures from the expert faculties also providing them internships and placements the opportunities for internships and placements are provided to our students where they can go for internships for a short term uh, they can go uh, even uh, after passing their ty when they are in their 6th uh, sem at that time itself we have companies coming uh, in the campus where interviews are conducted and if the child wishes along with their post graduation they can go for their jobs as well which can be part time as well as full time also the role of uh, uh, me as a person in their life should be the enhanceability of their skills it's not only about the employability so i obviously cater to the part where their higher education is catered to where uh even uh, targeting uh, uh, better universities and uh, courses then uh, employability 
employability regarding even in the government sectors where uh, the sectors like the banking sector is included then um, insurance sector then um, internships with research etc projects with uh, you know uh, the private firms also government exams yes so we cater to all these angles to ensure that a student is not only qualified it, it, he is not he or she is not only a person who just carries a degree that's a paper showing marks but the skills uh, as well as the employability part so here uh, as a finance faculty i obviously try to make my students not only qualified and learned but even employable sir so moving to our next question how do you maintain a healthy relationship with students and fellow faculty members it's a very important question this is one of the arenas that is the soft skills and the you know the personality part that comes into picture we all are human beings and we just cannot ignore this angle so as far as relations are concerned that is the base of any kind of learning you, know, you have to maintain very amicable yet professional relationships with your students as well as your team members because that's how you know human behavior goes but then obviously first part would be the academic relations what does student want from the education sector to the first is their education that is the, the subject matter second is the employability third is their mental health fourth is psychological well-being so if you provide at least these four components to the students your problems with uh, public at large that is your target audience the students get solved to a 99% scale provide the best of education go very well prepared with your subject whenever you're going to face your target audience you employability please today the students are very smart they are no longer students who were some two decades ago so work on their employability as well guide them how can these skills be useful to them in getting jobs for them or maybe you know employing them in their own businesses startups ventures uh, hold their hand wherever they need you you know support them mentally morally and obviously they are mental health and psychological well being where you have to understand the feelings of students sometimes the student is in good mood he learns like this sometimes there is some problem at, in the house so you know better uh, take uh, a note of somewhere understanding what's wrong with the child rather than just finding faults or maybe labeling the student If possible, try to find out what is in the background. Your work will be half done. This is about the students. Now maintaining good relationships with your colleagues or faculty members. There is a very simple mantra. One thing: be a workaholic. Be very professional. Keep yourself engaged in such a lot of work that you hardly have time to find faults with anyone. Because see, we all are different personalities. Working with each other, obviously there are professional differences, but that does not. Uh, mean they are your enemies or you know a difference of opinion uh, nowhere signifies that you know uh, it's like an opposition so accept people as they are rather than and the best advice that i would give for good relationships with human being is uh, rather than finding faults with others find faults with your own self that is the best thing you know there there are so many faults within my own self and that obviously pays off it's an easier work as well finding faults with myself start correcting them and you yourself be in profit the more uh, you just go on climbing up where you become more perfect you become more professional don't give anyone any kind of a lacune to uh, find faults with you so the only thing that you do is work on yourself find faults with yourself control yourself upgrade yourself and uh, learn new things every single day accept people as they are you know don't don't try to change them it's just too hard for you you rather focus on changing yourself the rest things will change on its own yes sir i totally agree with you so sir my last question is what valuable advice would you like to give to the students today there are so many motivational speakers today there is a, a huge lot of content available even on uh, uh, social media where advices are given to students so i won't speak much on it but the only thing is always be a learner never think that you are an expert of some field even if i have been teaching finance from like almost uh, 
you know, 15 years now, but I always use the term, I'm a learner. There's so many faults I need to work upon in myself. So be a learner of the subject rather than, you know, calling yourself an expert of the subject. That's one of the advices. Second is love your work. You know, select such work in your life where you are, where you actually feel like, you know, you, you are doing that work not because of money, but because you love maybe dealing with uh, stocks, Maybe you love dealing with the insurance sector, your policies, you understand that sector. Or, and last but not the least, very important thing is learn to let go things. Don't keep grudges in your mind. Don't keep grievances. What is gone is gone. Learn to let go. Keep a, a you know, light heart things towards people. Learn to forgive. Learn to delete people's faults. And that way you yourself it will be much lighter and then you'll go on scaling on new heights each day by day. Okay, thank you sir. That's all from my side. Thank you sir for giving us your valuable time and sharing this information with us. I am sure this would help students coming to our website. Thank you sir. Thank you.